A comparison of key risk indicators and quality tolerance limits, and you can see the table here reproduced. Uh, and I'm not going to go through the whole table, but uh, if, as you look at that, hopefully you can see there are in fact a lot of similarities between KRIs and QTLs. But of course, one of the big differences is that QTLs are in E6R2, but KRIs are not. The QTLs are study level and they're focused on these important areas, these critical to quality factors. Whereas key risk indicators, well, they can be study level, but they can also be participant site, perhaps across multiple sites as well. So different levels, I mean, often very, very specifically at the site level. So when you start to look at that, what you might start to realize, and this is what this article uh, suggests is that actually QTLs are really a subset of KRIs. They're the uh, they're KRIs that are focused on critical risks at the study level. So they are critical. You could think of them, I suppose, as critical key risk indicators, QTLs, but they're a subset. And so that very simple diagram we can see here, this Venn diagram is showing QTLs as a subset of all different sorts of KRIs. And so hopefully that helps a bit in terms of what the relationship is between the two. They're not completely different things. In fact, they're very similar, uh, but of course there are some differences.